University is located in St. John's, Newfoundland on the far east coast of Canada. It's home to thousands of students from across the province, across the country, and across the world. These are some stories of some first year students as they traverse life in St. John's, Newfoundland and attend Memorial University. I'm Chris, I'm doing my first year MBA at MAN and I've come out here all the way from Bangalore, a city in South India. I've always wanted to study abroad uh, just to get that global exposure and my dad when he was much younger he wanted to do his masters in the US as well but he wasn't able to so when I told him and it, in fact when I displayed remote interest of uh, studying abroad he supported me I was very cautious initially I wanted to find a program that wasn't very expensive because I don't want to be death trapped for the rest of my life and when I found Memorial he absolutely encouraged me uh, and even today let you know make everything good for me and comfortable and uh, so it's great i miss family but they're so supportive okay uh hi my name is sierra uh i am from toronto ontario uh what what was the question <laughs> no, exactly. all right am i good, yeah, good. okay yep. Hi, my name is Sierra. Uh, I am at MUN because I've always kind of loved Newfoundland. It's a pretty exciting place. Uh, St. John's itself is pretty cool, but I gotta say the surrounding area is why I'm here, going on road trips and stuff. Uh, I'm in my first year of Bachelor of Science. I'm 17 years old. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I don't know, I have a really great roommate. She's from South Korea. So she's got like this cool, exciting background. We're both from big cities, so we both sleep like rocks. Like there was this, uh, we were supposed to do a fire alarm and we're like, we're not gonna get up for this. <laughs> like it's a very low hum and stuff. Um, and everybody else is just really open and nice. So it's like, I'll be in the halls and be like, hey, how are you doing? And I'm like, hi, <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> right, so it's, I don't know, it's a very good, I think it's a great place to cultivate new relationships because everybody's really willing to make new friends, which is a pretty exciting atmosphere to be in. Okay, so my name is Amber. I am 18 years old. I'm from Chatham, Ontario, which is relatively small just because I'm in a little village outside of on, uh, outside of Chatham called Pancor, and you'd swear to God, it's only like 100 people there. I am here technically right now studying general, but I came here because I heard that the teaching program is amazing and it's really affordable. <laughs> and that's why I came to MUN. So for the mental health wellness rep for my house, we go to meetings and we find stuff to talk about in the house and then every Sunday we bring up, oh well this might be a volunteer activity you might be interested in or maybe we should do this and keep this in mind. So it's pretty much just trying to make people aware and make like our houses more mental health friendly. Like I can relate because one of my friends back home committed suicide two years ago, the 27th of October. So like this is like a hard time for me because she was a good friend and we went through a lot together. And so now it's like hearing that it's like suicide strikes, it strikes close to home for everyone. It's important to know that you're not alone. And I think that's what student, like Res Life is trying to do. Yeah, well, my name is Wes the Bath. I come from Ganderbit, Newfoundland. It's about a four hour drive from here, so it's not too bad. First year engineering student in engineering one, hoping to get into mechanical engineering next term. And we're about a month in now, it's just after Thanksgiving break, and everything's going good so far. Oh yeah, I miss being home a lot. It's a bit of an adjustment, but it's not too bad. Moose season opened up a couple weekends ago, and duck season too, rabbit season, so. Uh, miss hunting and fishing a lot. October, usually in the woods when the leaves are changing that in town. And 
my name is Aris. I come from China. I'm an exchange student and coming here for two semesters and go back home to get my degree and major in business administration. My family, that's my family. I have a little brother and I take a lot of pictures. Very cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The weather of St. John's is like a box of chocolate. It, like you know, you never know. It's really unpredictable. Like yesterday, I just fly here. It's really cold. It's freezing cold. So today, I put my heavy scarf on, and I go outside. I was look like stupid, cause it's really warm there and blue sky. And sometimes it really surprises you. St. John's has the ability to surprise me, cause you look like sometimes suddenly. It's sunny, it suddenly rains for no reason. But I'm trying to adjust to the unpredictable weather. As I say, I think the biggest problem is I'm an English second language speaker. So that's the problem, I cannot settle in with the local people. Because I cannot follow the speed when they're talking, they're really quickly. But on the other hand, it's really it's like a practice of my listening and oral English, and I hope I can make a bit progress. So I'm Rowan Frazier, I'm 29 years old. I live in St. John's, Newfoundland. I'm from Kenful, Nova Scotia. Uh, I'm at Munn studying sociology uh, and my overall goal is to uh, study uh, social inequality with minorities uh, as well as study families and uh, interactions between mixed families and just generally cause the ruckus and take on the man. I'm actually at school every day, uh, like Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays I have classes so I come with my wife. And we walk to work together because we just live like 10 minutes away. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm at school at 9.30 in the morning because I work for uh, Mundisk. So I'm here for work anyway. And uh, I mean, the routine is just getting through class without falling asleep, man. That's, I'm trying. I'm old. Like, I'm an old person. <laughs> I have nap times, man. No, <laughs> no I, 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 uh, it's it's still I'm still getting used to like a full day's uh, schedule where I'm not like at a at a work setting. Uh, I'm not like a coffee drinker, so I have I have nothing to energize me in the morning except the love of learning. <laughs> <laughs>